1912, the world was captivated by the luxurious RMS Titanic, a majestic British passenger liner that set sail on a fateful voyage from Southampton, England to New York City, US. The ship, operated by the White Star Line, was a marvel of modern engineering, a true masterpiece of its time. And yet, despite of its impressive size and luxurious accommodation, it was doomed to meet its tragic end. Hi, I'm Hilal Alam from Al Zebra. In this episode, we will see how a magnificent marvel of engineering met its end. The shipbuilders Holland and Wolf were toiling away on constructing the Titanic and its sister ships, the Olympic and Britannic. They faced a daunting challenge: a shortage of rivets. They needed nearly three million of these small metal fasteners for each ship, but their usual supplies were unable to keep up the demand. And so, in a bid to save time and money, they turned to small forgers whose quality control was less stringent. The result was a compromise in the quality of the iron bar, with the company settling for best rather than the superior best best class. Adding to the challenge, the Titanic was being constructed at a time of transition in shipbuilding, as the iron rivets were giving way to stronger steel ones. The bow and stern section of the ship were fastened with iron while the midship was held together with steel. The stress on the midship was expected to be intense, but no one could have predicted just how catastrophic the consequences would be. On the fateful night, April 15, 1912, the Titanic sailed into a field of iceberg with the visibility severely limited by poor weather conditions. The crew did their best to avoid a collision but the ship's massive size and weight made it difficult to maneuver. And so, the ship collided with an iceberg and the consequences were dire. The inferior quality of the rivers proved to be a crucial factor in the ship's demise. As the Titanic struck the iceberg, the rivers holding the overlapping steel plate in place popped out. It caused a large gas to open up in the hull. Water immediately flooded into the forward compartment through the slits and the damage to the hull extended to the area where the river transitioned from iron to steel. Despite the crew's effort to save the ship, the damage was too severe and the Titanic ultimately sank below the sea. It was not until 73 years later that the wreckage was discovered lying 3.2 kilometers beneath the surface of the sea. Even then, the true cause of the ship's sinking was not fully understood until an expedition in 1990s revealed the extent of the damage caused by the inferior quality of rivets. It was later understood that it was a half a dozen narrow slits that opened up in the hull, not by a large gash. To make matters worse, the metallurgists later found that the rivets contained a high amount of brittle slag, which was some of the ship's vulnerabilities. The slag is a glassy residue left behind after smelting process of iron ore. It's hard to imagine what might have happened if the Titanic had hit the iceberg head-on, rather striking it on the starboard side. Experts believe that the liner might have stayed afloat if that had been the case. The futile attempt to turn resulted in opening of narrow slits in the plates. The photographs of its sister ship RMS Olympic after its head-on collision with another vessel in 1911 clearly show dozens of vacant holes in the hull from which rivets popped out. The ship stayed afloat. This another interesting piece of the story. According to one of the studies, the iceberg that collided with the Titanic is believed to have originated from a largest ice sheet near Cosimute in southwest Greenland. It was estimated to have a mile long initially, but after drifting for up to three years across the fjord, it would have lost a half of its size. As it made its way across the vast expanse of the ocean, a rare lunar event occurred after 1400 years. It was a full moon day and the moon's gravitational pull was stronger than usual. The high tide caused by the full moon propelled the iceberg faster than usual and it spread across the ocean with a remarkable speed. 
The Titanic was on its maiden voyage, sailing towards New York City, unaware of the iceberg's journey towards its path. Had the Titanic crossed this line two days later, it would have missed the iceberg and tragic events that followed would have never been occurred. The iceberg's projected path suggests that it would have eventually melted away upon reaching the warm waters of the Gulf Stream approximately two weeks after the Titanic collision. It serves as a reminder of the fragility of life and unpredictable nature of the world as indicated in the book The Improbability Principle, Why Coincidence, Miracles and Rare Events Happen Every Day. Thank you. With this I sign off. We will meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye.